Carol contacted scientists about Dottie's grand designs. I tried a lot of people, and I think that they probably thought I was a kook. I was incredulous at first. This was unlike anything I had observed personally. Dr. Barbara Smuts, a renowned animal behaviorist from the University of Michigan, agreed to observe Donnie. She was intrigued, but cautious. Of course, anyone could have arranged the toys in those interesting patterns and then taken a picture and said, Donnie did it. She rigged up video cameras to eliminate the possibility that something manipulative or random was going on, capturing Donnie in the act from start to finish. Here, Donnie creates two parallel lines. Along the way, he contemplates the placement of the duck, changes his mind and puts it back in line. Three there, three there and five here. Wow, it's pretty, pretty neat, isn't it? I still can hardly believe that he did this, those kinds of creations. They're so specific. Dr. Smut soon became convinced that Doddy wasn't creating random patterns, but intentional compositions. If it were truly random, I don't think we would repeatedly see very clear geometric patterns. Triangles, half circles, straight lines, face up versus face down. How likely is it that a number of times we would see two or three frogs together or a number of primates? Is this an artist at work or a once abandoned dog looking for attention? Other dogs perform artistic feats, but most scientists say this is more about training than expression. Donnie seems to be motivated on his own. Dr. Smuts suspects Donny may be trying to creatively reconnect the fractured dog-human bond, the bond at the center of every dog's well-being. When Donny is making his arrangements, it seems pretty clear that he's making deliberate choices, not only in how he arranges these toys, but in which toys he uses and which ones he puts together. I think he's creative. There's an emotional component to what he's doing. This is just how he happens to express himself. A four-legged artist capable of turning suffering into visual expression. It sounds incredible, and maybe it is.